you have reached the superior's voicemail. Leave a message. Uh, I'm not sure how to work this thing. Is that it? Am I finished? I think so. Did you want to play professor and curious college student again? Uh, are you still holding down that button? Yes. Uh, don't come downstairs. In fact, um, no one should come downstairs. For a while. Vexen, what the hell is that thing? It's only Charles! He's just gotten bigger! Mice don't do that. Mice don't do that. Oh, for the love of... Hello, self. I am speaking to you from the past. You will receive this message in the future. That's kind of neat, isn't it? Xemnas, we're going to need a young priest and an old priest. Maybe a witch doctor, just to be sure. Oh, you little pansy! Haven't you ever seen a giant mutated mouse divide and multiply like an amoeba before? Oh, Superior. I've got this little... problem. It seems as though I've simply collapsed in that bed of rose petals, in nothing but my very, very soft, open silk robe. Superior, dude! Um... There might be a little issue with the ceiling in the kitchen. Don't worry, I'll figure out how to re-reverse the gravity in here. I... I hope? I should have paid more attention in physics class, I guess. Uh, look, Xemnas, I'm sure you're really busy and everything, but you have got to get someone in here to board up some of these crawl spaces. All I'm going to say is, this is getting too freaky even for me. Hey, Xemnas! I was just you, wondering if... You're not calling him right now. <laughs> Might as well call him now. Can't do anything else for... a few minutes. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. What do you mean? Well, <laughs> I don't know how to say this, uh, but uh, it's been taking you a little longer lately to... Uh... I thought you might want to know, Xemnas. Zigbar keeps asking me to take him to the past so he can tell himself to study harder, but I honestly don't believe the younger version of him would listen. I mean, I suppose I could humor him, but the last time I did that, well, let's just say there was a little thing with these apes taking over a planet. Superior, better hurry before the vines get kinky. Xemnas! All of my cheesecake is gone. I've just finished interrogating our little replica, and so far nothing's come of it. Uh... Someone is going to die for this. Mark my words, Xemnas. One of your precious little men is going to die! And it's really not going to be very pleasant for them either. <laughs> Um, Superior, I'm not sure how to tell you this, but I think the kitchen might be another dimension. It's kind of difficult to explain. I think I saw Zigbar, but I'm not really sure because he was talking backwards and looked kind of angular. <coughs> Aw, Patrick! And you brought me a cheesecake! Aw, that is so cute! Time for a tummy rub! <coughs> oh, uh, no, no, not you, Superior, unless you wanted one, I guess. <coughs> Hello, Xemnas. I am calling to let you know that I have kidnapped your little witch. Get out of my room! Shh! I'm making the demands here. <clears throat> I am, however, willing to negotiate for a safe return. If you, say, leave me the castle, 300,000 money, and a full collection of air supply albums... You know what? I'm tired of taking everyone's crap. That's nice, little girl. 
The adult in the answering machine are talking now. What, what are you doing? No, no, get away from me! Get away from me! No, 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 save me, Albus! Save me! No! Xemnas, I'm trapped in the crawl space and there are giant mutated mice everywhere. Send help! Superior, I have just been to the gardens and I would like to make it absolutely clear that I will never, ever go there again. I've just been to the pantry to get my weekly supply of tea. There seems to be something living in there. It doesn't look natural, though admittedly not much does around here. Point being, I turned around to get my tea and there were suddenly two of them. I just thought I would make you aware. Not that you ever actually do anything about these sorts of situations, but... Can I raise my own message? Uh, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Do not let these mutated mice touch water. <laughs> Warn the others. Quickly, damn it! Hey, uh, Larsheen's roaming around screaming at everyone about a cheesecake. I mean, I know she does that all the time, but this time seems, uh, scarier. Did you send Zaldin for the three way? You naughty superior. So, Patrick a cheesecake, but they stole the cheesecake from Larkseen, and I don't know, and I didn't know, and she came up into my room all mad, and Patrick defended me, but Larkseen hits pretty hard, so we wound up all running into the kitchen again, and Zigma still all freaking, there was these really big monsters, and Axel tried to set him on fire, but I thought that was cruel, so I got some water on it, and <laughs> Cheesecake. Cheesecake, damn it! Cheesecake! It hurts, Larry! Alright, well, since I haven't heard back from you yet, I thought I might want to take things into my own hands and turn time back for you. The entire castle exploded with giant disgusting things. It was a little funny, though, as Zexion was crying and Luxine was screaming something about that's what we all get for stealing her cheesecake. Unfortunately, Maluxia was running around naked. Quite a lot, actually. It ruined my evening somewhat. Anyway, time has been set back to slightly before the catastrophe began, and I've stolen that... mouse thing. Ugh, I think I'll drop it in Wonderland. Also, you might want to change that answering machine message. It's a little... suggestive. Clearly, this was all a dream. Uh, sir? A dream, Sykes. A dream as recorded by my answering machine. It's a miracle. Yes, of course. Um, can we change that greeting message now? I think not. But that reminds me of a little game we haven't played in a while. 